little. And you are staying right with me. Oh, hello, darling. You must be the new assistant they told me about. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you around to help. I've been absolutely swamped. You have no idea. There are so many books that come here from all over every day and I'm the only one here to sort and categorize them. Can you imagine? Oh, this one. I suppose you caught me admiring it. This is what you could call a tome or a Grimoire, depending on where you're from. Either way, it contains information on how to mm, attain more power, I suppose you could say. Is that something you'd be interested in? you've heard about me, I am a humble librarian. I used to be a grand mage, of course, but that was a long time ago. Yes, nowadays, books are my new friends. Although I admit I have a particular liking for books of this sort. The ones on history, to be frank, bore me a little. You'll often find me in the more restricted sections. But enough about me. What about you? Tell me why you wanted to work for the Knights of Favonius. protect Mondstadt. And if you're not a fighter, a library is a very good place for you to be. You can help us document the goings-on around the city, and you can help to preserve our knowledge and histories. Plus, when finding books like these, we can increase our power and better defend the city from growing threats. Hmm. Now tell me, sweetie, have you ever heard of a vision? Hmm. Well, this handy thing hanging around my chest is what they would call a vision. It grants the user elemental powers depending on what color it is. Mine is purple and hence lightning. Indeed. Visions are a gift from the gods to those who they deem worthy. Of course, 
when you say it like that It sounds very grandiose But in truth All I did was Study very hard And I suppose they recognized the effort I was The most promising graduate In a hundred years At Sumeru Academia But that life is behind You see, using this handy dandy little book. Let's see. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? of my magic, I assure you. I just wanted to show you a little what these dusty old books can do when properly utilized. Speaking of dusty old books, shall I show you a few more? This one is staying with me in the restricted section, but you can look at any of the others. Let me put this over here. Now, many of our books we acquired through donations, mm, raids on ruins, or simply other libraries who don't have the funds to continue anymore. We are the biggest library in Mondstadt. And so we take many types of books. You will have to learn to categorize them properly. I am very particular. Alphabetically, by topic. But don't worry, you'll get the hang of it very quickly, I'm sure. This book categorizes the founding of Mondstadt. Mm, I would say it's an interesting read, but I'd be lying. Nevertheless, it's useful information to keep. And so, it goes on the history folder. is exquisitely detailed along with information about its origins Truly this is a gift and very important to preserve You begin to see now the importance of the work we do here Isn't it beautiful? And now, this book 
goes on the art shelf Alright Which is just over here if you'd excuse me oh, Almost there There we go Hopefully you'll remember that And let's see is a novel something that someone has written a work of fiction not exactly prime information material or cultural but it still has value to be kept fiction is very important it has a place, I think. And that place is in the fiction corner right over there. But I'll put that away later. So, do you think you're getting the hang of it? <laughs> oh, I can tell that you're going to be a wonderful assistant I'm very glad that Jean found you. Forgive me. I'm a terrible hostess. Would you like a cup of tea? You'll learn very quickly about me that there is nothing I love more than tea and naps. Even better, one followed by the other. <laughs> what do you say? A cup of tea and then a nap? Sleeping on the job is almost guaranteed here. Just don't tell the others, okay? Wonderful. One cup of rose tea coming right up. Oh, sorry about the wait. I wanted to make sure it was nice and hot for you. Let's see now. Here we are. I like rose tea the best. Rose black tea. Do you have a preference? Oh, really? Mm. That is a little pricey, but I will be sure to order it in for you. What kind of mentor would I be if I didn't get you the best? Well, here you go. Enjoy. And while you drink that, let me explain a little more about what your duties here will be, okay? So, sometimes I will have to go off on errands for the Knights of Favonius. Now this could be protecting someone important, uh, retrieving a tome or text from somewhere a little too dangerous for the average adventurer or archaeologist. Mm, what else? Some research. Sometimes I am somewhat hot a natural observer. I do like to see how things tick, I suppose you could say. Uh, all sorts of things, really, but your main job will be to make sure the library runs smoothly while I'm away. And while I am here, you'll simply be helping me categorize and keeping me company. Of course. Oh, it can get quite boring and tiresome without some good conversation. I would say that's the main part of your job, but I don't think that's true. 
I think it may be the most enjoyable part, though. Hmm. Yes. I think you're going to do a wonderful job. I can tell already. I have a sixth sense for these things, you know. I think it's my vision. Well, now that you've finished your tea, what do you say we find a cozy spot? I know all the best napping places in here, trust me. <laughs> You're in good hands. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Napping is good for you, you know. A nap a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> but either way, it's one of life's joys. Come on, let's go. I'll show you everything and you can pick your favorite spot.